right guys, how you doing? It's Rabir, I hope you're all well. So this is kind of a well-timed video, it's kind of a coincidental video as it were, because I've been getting an increasing amount of inquiries, or at least questions, should I say, about how I go about distributing my music online, what's, a, what's good advice for online distribution of your own material. So really this is a video tailored towards artists and bands and people that have original material they want to put out on the internet for people to download and share and stream and all the rest of it. In my opinion, it's the best way for independent artists to get their music out using online distribution platforms because you're in control of what you put out, you're in control of your own artwork, you're in control of your own release dates, you're in control of everything. I think for the modern day, for the modern musician or artist, it's just it's just better. Obviously, if you get picked up by major label or anything like that, they'll they'll chuck budget towards you for distribution physically online. They'll do photos and stuff like that, but they recoup that money. So, you know, like it's one thing to get signed by a big label. They'll give you a hundred grand. You can get going, but then they need to get that back. So I've, I've heard a lot of uh, horror stories of bands that have done that and then realized that they're broke again because the, the label needed to recoup their money. So they end up still having to have jobs even though they're playing main stage festival gigs and stuff. But it depends what you're in this for, what you're in this for in terms of experience. You know, if you want to get in and get out, some people do. If you want longevity, uh, there are different ways, more sustainable ways and more um, in favor of the artist kind of ways given the fact we have to work within this system of the music industry to some capacity. So back to online streaming and the reason this video is coincidental was because I was going to make a video about what I use to distribute my music and Tosca, Dorje, all the rest of it. But then really randomly, the company that I work with to do that with got in touch and said, can we sponsor a video? So this video is sponsored by the online streaming uh, distribution platform that I use called DistroKid. If you've not heard of DistroKid before, they are one of many uh, online uh, distribution uh, platforms for artists and bands and everybody that wants to get their music and, and material out there. The reason I chose DistroKid originally, and this is way before they got in touch, through working with Dan, he was someone that recommended DistroKid because he'd looked into all these kind of places and thought to himself, this is probably the one most suited to artists like myself and Tosca, for example. They work with all the major streaming platforms such as you know Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, Amazon. Uh, there are loads, there are like hundreds of different streaming services that they use. They've even just started working with TikTok, which I know is like a huge thing nowadays with the kids. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so th they work with all the major ones, which is really, really handy. And the cool thing is that for you to put your music on their platform, they don't actually take any cut when a, when, a, when any of your music streamed or sold. They don't take any commission, which is awesome. However, there is a $19.99 uh, subscription fee for you to uh, become part of DistroKid and be able to use their services, which in my opinion is better because you know you can have that stuff on there indefinitely provided you pay that yearly subscription fee and, and they never take a cut. So every single time someone streamed one of my Grinding Gears EPs or Tosca's music, Distro, DistroKid don't take any money for that. We just pay that $19.99. Um, well, that's the starting price. There are different packages, but we pay our subscription fee and essentially that's it. We just get to control everything ourselves. We get to control what platforms we put our music on. Um, you know, we get to control all of that kind of stuff and we can have our, you know, monthly or yearly or six monthly reports. We can see how many sales we've made, where they've been made, where in the world. It's super, if you're that kind of person that wants it to be in control of, of a lot of that side of stuff within your projects, it's great for that. And for me, I do. You know, I like to know where people are listening to my music. I like to see where it is in the world. I like to keep on top of, you know, the figures and see what's popular, what's not. And it's a great platform for that. They even support allowing you to upload cover songs um, for a different fee, it's a different package. But if you are a cover artist, for example, someone like Leo, he could totally use DistroKid um, to put his covers up. Obviously, you know, there's a subscription fee there, but they don't take any commission on your covers either. So that is really, really cool. As some of you are probably aware, this is vastly different from the traditional model. Um, you know, some, some more traditional platforms, you know, they'll take a percentage commission on everything that happens, up to 9% which over a year can actually turn out to be quite a lot. And I don't think that's as beneficial for the artist. The thing I like about DistroKid is it's like artist first, it feels like. And obviously being someone that has, you know, multiple records out in the world for you to stream and download, you know, I wouldn't, 
have chosen this company if I wasn't 100% confident that it was the best or most tailored to my needs or the band's needs. And also Dan being such a whiz in that world, he knows so many different pros and cons of all these different companies and he really did his research and he said look DistroKid is the one in his opinion and I've been totally happy ever since and I use uh, like their sort of priority VIP package which you pay more for but it allows um, different privileges and different things like that which you can go through and look at all the benefits of each package uh, for being a band or an artist but ultimately if you sign up and use DistroKid you essentially get the opportunity to control all of the stuff I've just mentioned. Um, you don't have to be like the VIP level if you don't need, if you just want to use it for its basic features of streaming your music online, you can sign up and it's just really easy to do. So in terms of what DistroKid have done to sponsor this video, they actually thought it would be cool to do like a percentage discount on signups if you are interested in you know, going with DistroKid and starting to put your music online. I've got a link specific to me, which I'll put in the description box. So if you were to follow that link and sign up, you'll get a 7% discount on your sign up fee, which is awesome. Uh, every little counts, of course. Um, and considering it's already quite an affordable thing, it's just nice to have that extra bit shaved off the top. So yeah, just make sure you follow that link in the description. It will appear somewhere here as well um, for you to have a look at that and see if it's something that you're interested in or if you have mates that are in bands or artists you know that really need that extra push to get things out online then tell them about DistroKid and send them that link as well because as I say for me I just feel 100% in control I can see how much money is being generated through streaming I can see you know where that music is being streamed and who's doing it it just gives me that comfort that as an artist I would really like in this modern music industry because for me, having teams of people is useful in some areas of things, like touring and things like that. But when it comes to my music and, and where it's going and who's using it and who's, you know, all that kind of stuff, I don't like to have people discuss it and then come and tell me the verdict. You know, I, I'm very much like, I want to know what's going on because, you know, it's stuff I'm passionate about. So yeah, definitely hand on heart. I was going to do this video anyway. It's turned out to be sponsored. So call it biased if you want, but I'm already using DistroKid and have been for a few years. And both Tosca, even Dorje now is on there and myself have got nothing bad to say about it. It, it works really well. So that's basically it. It's, it's not the longest video and, you know, it's one that I hope has answered questions to all those people that have been asking because I've had bands and artists to like asking at the clinics and the masterclasses I've done also in messages and stuff. And yeah, I've always replied to those and said, yeah, DistroKid, use Dist that's what I use, so check it out. But then it's really cool that they came to me and said, can, can you help us promote our platform? I was like, I'm already using it, so this is really cool. If you're a band or an artist and you want to take absolute control of your own music when it gets put out into the world, for you to be able to see everything, every sale, every figure, every stream, every country, all that kind of stuff, and have ultimate control over where it's put out, how it's put out, all that stuff, then check out DistroKid. Check out the link in my description box here and you'll get a 7% discount on your sign up. And yeah, I really, really hope you enjoy what they have to offer. And if you've got any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'll do my very best to answer those questions. But yeah, that's basically the video. So I hope it was in informative. I hope there was some good info in there and it shed some light on this subject. And thank you DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all very soon.